first thing I'm going to do with this question is I'm going to change 9 into 3 squared. So, I see the 9 here. I'm going to turn that into 3 squared. Have a go with that? Yep. Next thing. What's 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 2, anybody? Five. 3 to the power of 5. So, what I think is I'm going to take away the top number, take away the bottom number. So, so what, what's 3x minus 1 take away x plus 1? In the same way you did 7 take away 2. 3x minus 1 take away x take away 1. Did anybody get 2x minus 2? All right. 3 to the power of 2x minus 2 equals 3 to the power of 2. Then 2x minus 2 equals 2 and then 2x equals 4, x equals 2. Now, when you're at the end of the exam and you're giving me the I'm done early Mr. Kenny smug look, what could you do to ensure that your answer is perfect? You could sub it back in. So instead of looking at me going, oh, look at me, I'm finished, I'm amazing. You could actually uh, you could actually save yourself a bit of marks by subbing it back in. So watch 3 times 2 take away 5. So 3 times 2 take away 1. 2 times take, 2 take away 1 is 3 to the power of 5. And what's 2 plus 1? And what's 3 to the power of 5 divided by 3 to the power of 3? And you know you have the perfect answer, don't you? Everything's cool. Alright, guys. Now, 37. Tough question. Don't mind that. All right, what's root 3, lads? 3 to the power of a half. What's 1 over root 3? 1 over 3 to the power of a half, which is? Anybody? Yeah, 3 to the power of minus a half. 81? 81 is 3 to the power of 4. Okay. Now, what's 81 over root 3? 81 over root 3, anybody? 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of a half. And then what's 4 take away a half? Yeah, you can always use your calculator if, you, if you're not too happy with the fractions. But you will see that that is 3 to the power of 7 over 2. You all good? Alrighty. Now, uh, which one of these do you want done? B? B and C. B and C. No bother, right? We will leave out A for the time being. Now, what can I change this into? 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals what? What can I change this with? 3 to the power of minus a half. What can you say now, lads? Power equals power. So what's our next step? 2x minus 1 equals minus 1 over 2. Get them a common denominator. What's the common denominator? 2, isn't it? So what can I write that as? 4x minus 2 over 2 equals minus 1 over 2. Do I need the 2s anymore? Why not? They're equal, aren't they? So they're gone. What do we do next? How do you side with it? And we get? Anybody? 1. And then x equals? Water, doesn't it? Yes. You got 0.25? Yeah, no bother. Decimals are grand. In this case, there's a nice decimal. Halves and quarters are good decimals. If you have thirds, you're in trouble. Yes. Uh, what did you get for like the second time? Here. Uh, yeah. Uh, what did you say? Like, uh, how would I say this? Like, you have to figure out. Now, the last one. Uh, Alan, what do we change eighty-one over a tree with? Uh, three over seven over two. Three to the power of seven over two. Yeah. Now, what do we do next, John? Um, 
X minus two equals. Okay. Now, uh, do you want to bring over two first, or what do you want to do? Plus two, yeah? yeah. And you throw that onto the calculator and you get? Uh, 11 over. Oh, yeah, 11 over half. half. 11 halves, 11 over two, yeah. Perfect, good math. Any questions with that one? All good? Awesome. Oh, this one. All right, really quickly. 5 to the power 2 multiplied by 5 to the power 4, what would the answer be? Uh, 5 to the power 6. What did you do, Isaac? You added them, did you? That's okay. Why don't you do the same thing? Add them. Why don't you add them? 3x plus? And then what do you do next? Yeah, because the, powers, uh, the base number is the same. So what do you have? Awesome. All right. What about the next one, Isaac? Um, Seven to the power of. Yeah. Yeah. And then x plus four y equals. That's a shocking four. X plus four y equals. Zero. Zero. Now, uh, I'm going to get rid of the y's, Isaac. Yeah. What can I do with this one here? Uh, yeah, times that one by minus two. And we'll get minus 6x minus 4y equals uh, minus, minus 10 by minus two. Uh, minus 5x equals 20. So x will equal. It does equal minus 4, but just to be safe, I'll multiply both sides by minus and then divide it. Alright, now we know what the x value is, so let's find out what the y value is then. I'm thinking about using which one? I'm thinking about using this one. It looks easy, doesn't it? Yes. So what can I do there? Replace x with? Uh, plus 4y equals? Yeah. Awesome. Alright. You go. Alright. Well. Ah, uh, this one. It looks so hard, but it really isn't. Alright, question. What's 2 multiplied by a half? What's a uh, Kenny multiplied by 2 divided by Kenny? Just two. Uh, what's root Charlie multiplied by five over root Charlie? Just five. You get what I'm saying? Now, this should be fairly handy now, since you know it. All right, what's root x by root x? X. What's root x multiplied by one over root x? One. The answer is x plus one. That's pretty handy, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, what do I do with this? x plus 1 equals x equals 4. Now, here's where we're going to top up some marks. What does it say next? Verify your answer. So, what do I need to do to verify my answer? So, this is going to be square root of 4. And this is going to be square root of 4 plus 1 over the square root of. Four. Every go at that. Two by two plus a half. And what's two plus a half? Two and a half. Two times two and a half. Five. Have you verified your answer? Yeah, you have. All right.